Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at angle side relationships in a triangle. So we have in triangle ABC the measure of angle A equals 58 degrees and the measure of angle B equals 73 degrees. And we want to know which inequality is true and we have four inequalities to choose from. Notice with this problem that we don't have a diagram so the first thing we should do is draw a picture of triangle ABC. Now since we're using this diagram just to help us figure out what's going on, it doesn't matter that it's not necessarily drawn to scale. So we'll call this triangle ABC, and we know that angle A equals 58 degrees, and we know that the measure of angle B is equal to 73 degrees. The missing angle we could call X, and we can use this concept that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees, and this is going to help us find the measure of angle C. So we could set up 58 plus 73 plus X and set this equal to 180. When we simplify, 58 plus 73 is equal to 131. So then to solve this, we're subtracting 131 from both sides. And this tells us that X is equal to 49. So we go to our diagram and we can replace x with 49 degrees. So this is an important step, finding the, three, the measure of the three angles of the triangle. But next we look to our answer choices and notice that all of the inequality signs are less than. So this is telling us, this is just a helpful trick, that when you read less than, that they ordered the sides from least to greatest. So the key is, is to say the inequality out loud and since it's a less than sign for all the answer choices, less than should prompt you to think in terms of least to greatest. So next we're going to use the theorem, our, our theorem which states that the smallest angle in a triangle is opposite the smallest side. Or the other way we could say it is that the greatest angle is opposite the greatest side. But because we're going from least to greatest, we want to start with the idea that the smallest angle is opposite the smallest side. So that means we have to start with the smallest angle in our diagram. And notice that 49 degrees is the smallest angle. So we go opposite of angle C. And notice when we go opposite of angle C, the first side we hit is side AB. So AB is going to be the smallest side in our triangle. So after 49, the next smallest number is 58. So this tells us that the next smallest side is going to be side BC. And now by process of elimination, we know the last side is AC, or we could go to the biggest angle, 73. We go opposite to side AC, which tells us that the order of the sides is that AB is less than BC, which is less than AC. So we go to our answer choices and notice that choice 4 matches what we just found. One small little detail, BC and CB are the same size so that when you do this on your own you have to be able to reverse the letters in the event that they are flipped as it was with CB here. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on angle side relationships in a triangle. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.